doing here? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? Why are you on my sofa? Oh my God, chill. Everyone said you've been looking for me. So here I am. What do you want to talk about? Who's everyone? And why are you drinking my soda? Oh my God, relax. Honestly, it's not easy for me to make websites rank high in Google searches. It's actually been quite a struggle. I think I'm gonna quit. What do you think? If you work with SEO and are trying to rank high on search engines, you probably wish that the right keywords would just show up on your sofa and make your life a lot easier. Unfortunately, that's not the way it works, but that's why we made this video to show you how to do keyword research and be successful online. So let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm Daniela, a content creator here at one.com. Today, we're going to talk about keyword research. In this video, I'll explain the key things you need to know about this topic, and then I'll take you through how you can carry out keyword research effectively and strategically. So first and foremost, why should you bother with keyword research? Why is it so important? Keyword research helps you understand what your target audience is actively searching for. It creates a foundation for your search engine optimization work. By ensuring that your content contains the keywords that your audience is searching for, you improve the visibility of your content. When your content matches what people are searching for, it will boost the rankings of your site on search engines and reach more potential customers. If you worked with SEO many years ago, you might have seen very different ways of working with keywords. For example, people used to create individual landing pages for each keyword, even for misspelled keywords. Luckily for you, today the approach has changed and instead, keywords are strategically incorporated into content as search engines now have a better way of understanding what the page is about by looking at the context rather than looking solely at the keywords. Things have become much easier. Now that we've covered the importance of keyword research, let's look at some concepts you should be familiar with before you start doing keyword research on your own. When working with keywords, it's important that you understand the search intent. But what does this mean? Search intent basically means the purpose that people have when searching for something online. Google specifically recognizes several types of primary intents. The most commonly used are transactional, informational, commercial, and navigational. Transactional intent means the person is probably looking to buy the product they're searching for. Informational intent means the person is not necessarily looking to buy, but rather to get more information about the specific product or thing they're interested in. Commercial intent means that the person is probably trying to understand where and from which brand they should buy the product they're interested in. And finally, navigational intent means the person is simply going to a website they already know. So an important step for you is to understand the intent behind the search. Keep in mind that Google has already defined the intent. Your job is to match it. For example, if you want to write a piece of content discussing the quality of Nike running shoes, then as part of your keyword research process, you can head over to Google and type Nike running shoes. If you look at the results, you can see that the top websites are trying to sell you Nike shoes. From that, you can assume that Google has defined the intent for the query Nike running shoes as transactional and navigational. For your piece of content, it may be better to rank for the keyword best running shoes. So try typing that into Google and then you can see that the results are for longer articles and lists showing a variety of products. From this we can understand that the search is defined as commercial and thus the results are more targeted towards showing the visitor multiple brands along with information about features. Matching your content to the intent of your visitors queries is critical for rankings. As we've seen the keyword best running shoes is of a more informative nature while Nike running shoes is much more sales oriented. Therefore, if your content doesn't align with the user's intent, you won't rank well. There are tools out there that can help you understand what intent Google provides for a specific query. Let's use Ahrefs, which gives us access to a powerful suite of SEO tools. Using Ahrefs, you can easily type in a keyword you're interested in. Let's say buy running shoes. As you can see in the results, the intent is defined as transactional. This is another and very direct way of identifying the intent. Tools like this one can help you understand also other relevant things about the keywords you're interested in. So let's take a look. When deciding on which keywords you should try and rank for, there are a few things you should consider. Let's open up our keyword research tools again and let's type in a keyword we're interested in. Let's go with running shoes again. As you can see from the results, we're given different information on this specific keyword. Keep in mind, these are the results for the US. 
So in case you want to look at a different geographical area, you'll need to change the location here. If we look here, we can see the term keyword difficulty. This is an important factor to consider as it tells us how hard it is to rank for this keyword. And as you can see in this case, the level of difficulty is very high. Ranking for this query will be very competitive as many other companies and people out there are trying to rank for it as well. Usually more detailed and specific keywords are less competitive. So it's a good opportunity to rank well for them. The downside of this, however, is that fewer people are probably searching for this term and so the visibility might not be as high. Now let's talk about content clusters and why you should use them for your keyword research strategy. Firstly, what are content clusters? Creating content clusters is a strategic approach to organizing and structuring content on a website for better search engine optimization performance. Rather than creating isolated individual pieces of content, targeting specific keywords, content clusters involve grouping related content around a central topic or pillar page. So basically, let's say your brand sells shoes. The central topic or pillar content for your brand would be shoes, as that's the broader area of your brand. But then if we divide this central topic into subtopics, you will then have running shoes, work shoes, orthopedic shoes, and so on. The idea is to start broad and then delve deeper into a specific topic. The content clusters concept is something you can apply in the structure of your website in order to rank higher. This strategic approach not only enhances SEO by showing search engines you are an expert in the field, but it also provides a more organized and user-friendly experience for website visitors. Let's take Nike's website as an example. As you can see, the navigation menu is organized into categories, which are very broad, such as men, women, and so on. Now, if we click on men, we can see subcategories that are still quite broad, like all shoes. If we click on it, we can then see on the left-hand menu that the categories are breaking into more specific subcategories. So let's click on the running category. Here we can see that the category breaks once more into several subcategories. This is a good example of a content cluster structure on a website. Organizing your website into content clusters doesn't have to be a pain. Tools like Ahrefs can also help you with that. As an example, after you have found relevant keywords you can utilize, you can open up the tool and add all the relevant keywords over here. Once you get to the result page, you can click on clusters by parent topic. Here you will be able to see how the tool has organized the keywords into different categories. This can help you identify categories and groupings you can use on your website when structuring it and implementing keywords. In conclusion, mastering keyword research is a multifaceted process. It's about understanding intent, leveraging tools, and being strategic in your approach. Keep in mind that everyone sells similar products, so you need to ask yourself what makes you unique. Answering this question will help you set you apart in the crowded marketplace. If you found this guide helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more insights. Make sure you check out our channel as we have plenty of videos that can help you be successful online. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.